What's up YouTube, it's Robert here, your YouTube. I'm Robert and I am sitting on the hood of the always beautiful and awesome 2017 Challenger right here. Uh, my wife's little baby that she likes to drive around and it is a beautiful day here in Loganville. We got the 16 Ram over there with the uh, aluminum behind it, chilling in the driveway here. But I don't wanna talk about this car today. What I wanna talk about is what's sitting next to this car and I'll show you right now. So you got her like, Rob, you bought a police car right there police car i know it's a police car um yeah i bought a used police car it's not the first one i've owned i have had this would be number six now but this has a business reason for it we bought this car because we are going to start doing oversized uh wide load escorts so i'm like i want another crown vic looking at doing wide load escorts not going to do that that's not cost effective fuel wise so bought the crown vic so what is it so she's a 2010 crown vic she is the um higher rear end ratio uh you guys are going to kill me in the comments not the 327 but the other rear end ratio she's a city car she came out of a small um county in north georgia uh came with the push bar on it but that was it the department that this came from they did a great job of stripping the car down even removing the window tent. So I spent the last couple of days kind of putting the car back to how I would like to drive it every day. And then it's getting lettered with our logo and escort unit on the side of it. And um, gonna have some flag holders welded to the front so we can put our wide load banners on it. Light bars going back up top for the amber lights, all that kind of good stuff. But she's kind of in her purest form right now. And I wanted to get a video shown of it before I start tearing that apart. So what did I do to the car so far? Well, tinted the windows. And these windows are extremely dark. This is 15% um, up front, which isn't really dark when you think about 15%. And this is 5% in the back. So you can see the difference between the 15 and five. And then the windshield was done at 50%. Yes, I know, highly illegal. I don't care if they pull me or write me a ticket. So be it, I'll pay the ticket, it's worth keeping what's going to be going in the side of this car safe. So a rundown for this car, what's going to be getting is a center console put back in it for our gear. Uh, a Phoenix 4200 lighting controller is going to be going in it. Um, our, our Next Edge digital 800 megahertz system is going in it. Then a Striker 655 HPC will go in it. Uh, Bearcat scanner is going to go in it. Um, <coughs> as far as lighting goes, um, she's going to get a forehead dash light there. She's gonna get two head dash lights on the rear deck, one there and one there. Uh, obviously we'll be getting, the strobes are in the corner markers already, so I'll have to get a strobe pack to power those back up. Um, she's gonna be getting um, uh, the license plate LEDs on the side there. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do a roof bar, light bar up top yet or not. She's already set up for it with a hole there uh, if I wanted to. I could go down that route and then of course up top she's going to get the hidden light bars there and there and then across the front um, she'll have a set of light bars across the front there then our light headset there license plate up front with the lights there uh two takedowns up front and then a set of one two i see them on the other side lights there uh in the rear window here uh, it'll get a set of uh light heads here the back window and then the surface mount led cannons four down each side and these will all be dual color amber white leds so <clears throat> you guys are probably asking robert how much did you pay for a vehicle like this well the car itself uh that i purchased here before i did everything else to it cost me sixteen hundred dollars um I went and got it myself and then taxes and everything. By the time I put the taxes on it, by the time I put the tent on it, I did the antennas, I put the touchscreen radio in it, and I did the subwoofer setup. I've got just over $2,300 in the car as it sits with a brand new transmission, brand new engine, ball joints, uppers and lowers, and uh, rod tie rod ends on the front, shocks. The AC system has been replaced in this car. The list of everything that has been done to this vehicle is about this thick 
uh, since 2010, everything they did to it. So, um, but as we did with the black car, I will update you guys on this one as we do things to it. Still have a video on this one. I think this is the first time this car has officially appeared on the channel, actually. Um, I did an intro video for this, but I haven't had a chance to upload it yet. So I guess now I kind of have to upload it yet, upload it now. But for you guys that are like, wait a second, that's a new car. We haven't seen it either. This is a 17 SXT uh, Challenger. It's a wife's car, um, bone stock car, but we do have tons of parts. Full JL Audio stereo system sitting in the garage ready to be put in. Uh, Flowmaster Super 40s to go on it. The SRT, and, uh, SRT uh, 20 inch wheels to go on it. Um, full kit for the uh, stripes. There's a shaker hood kit to go on it. A uh, Hellcat chin spoiler. It's all in that garage, but I spent so much time in that thing, I haven't had time to do any of it. So uh, maybe one day I'll get around to doing her car. She's kind of pissed because I bought this and it's pretty much done with the exception of buying the emergency lights. It's gonna be about 1200 bucks worth of lighting to get put on the car. I've had this for a week and it's done. She's had this since October and it's not even close. So there's the car. You guys can comment all you want to down there. You know, y'all, you're stupid for driving a police car. You can get pulled over, whatever. Y'all can hate all you want to. Um, I love driving those big Vicks because, you well, know, they're just awesome. I mean, look at it. How can you hate that car? It's just so sweet. So anyways, from everybody here over at the RPL Garage, thanks for stopping in today. As always, if you haven't done so far as your first video, click the like button, subscribe, um, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.